P0513, incorrect immobilizer key. If you're seeing a P0513 code, that usually means there's a problem with the key or the immobilizer system. Basically, the car isn't recognizing the key properly and it might not start. Let's break it down real quick. Most modern vehicles have chip keys or transponder keys. When you try to start the car, the immobilizer system checks for a valid signal from the key. If it doesn't see what it's expecting, boom, it throws this code and sometimes prevents the engine from starting. So what can cause this? Wrong or unprogrammed key. If you've recently gotten a new key cut or replaced a battery in a key fob and it wasn't programmed properly, the car won't recognize it. Key fob damage or dead battery. If the chip inside the key is damaged or the battery is too weak to send a proper signal, the system won't read it. Issues with the immobilizer module or antenna ring. There's usually a ring around the ignition switch or push button start that reads the key signal. If that antenna is damaged or unplugged, it can't pick up the signal, even if the key is fine. Also possible, ECM or BCM software issues. This is rare, but a glitch in the car's brain can throw the code even if the hardware is working. Now in terms of location, the transponder antenna is usually located around the ignition cylinder for key start cars or near the start button for push start models. The immobilizer module may be built into the BCM or separate, depending on your car, usually under the dash or behind interior trim panels. So here's what to do. Try a different key if you have a spare. If that works, the problem's with your original key. Check or replace the key fob battery. That's a quick and easy fix. If you just had a new key made, it might need to be reprogrammed. A mobile locksmith can handle that on the spot and they're usually faster and cheaper than going anywhere else. Scan the car with an OBD2 tool that can read security system codes. Not all basic tools can do that. If you don't have one, AutoZone or O'Reilly may be able to help or loan you one for free. If all else fails, you may need to check wiring to the immobilizer antenna or get the car scanned at a shop that can work with anti-theft systems. But again, a good mobile locksmith is often the best bet. So yeah, try a second key, replace the battery, and double check that the key is programmed. Clear the code, and if it doesn't come back, you're set. That's it for this one. I'll catch you in the next.